Starting today in this three-part series, we'll understand why this particular situation comes during the situation reaction test, what are the most common mistakes made by candidates while answering it, we'll analyze few responses, and then I'll help you understand how to write an answer to this situation. Before we do that, I'll request you to pause the video here, write down your own reaction, and only then resume watching the video so that later you will understand whether you are right or wrong. Let's get started. Let us first understand why this situation will come during the situation reaction test. This kind of a situation will come to check your quickness of reaction during emergency and also whether you are able to identify hidden resources available. However, a majority of candidates will write the answer in such a way that they will fail to show these qualities. Let me explain how. The first thing to note here is that it is a helicopter that has fallen. This means there must be lives at risk of the people who are there in the helicopter. They might be severely injured and so we must do something quickly to evacuate them and rush them to hospital. The most important words to be used while answering this situation are words like immediately or quickly or rushed or something similar which will imply that the candidate is going to react fast. However, most of the candidates will fail to write these words as a part of their answer. This will generate a poor impression that even in a situation like this, the candidate will remain casual even though probably there are many lives at risk. The assessor will see this as something very negative. The second thing to note is that the helicopter has fallen within the vicinity of the unit lines. This means there are many resources available for the candidate if he wants to save the lives of the people who might be trapped inside that helicopter. The first resource available are the personnel. Lines means the place where soldiers of a particular unit stay. So it indicates that at least some of them might be available there and the candidate can take their help in order to save and evacuate the people trapped inside the helicopter. Even if, let's say, nobody is there in lines at that point of time, still the unit's workplace office is nearby. So definitely there is help available. However, most of the candidates fail to write showing that they will take help of their colleagues who might be in the lines at that point of time or nearby in the unit area itself. Another thing which can be of great help to the candidate is the availability of vehicles in the unit. Almost every unit has its own vehicles. There must be other vehicles also of officers, ORs, JCOs in the unit at that point of time. These vehicles can be used to rush the injured to hospital. However, most of the candidates fail to think about this and rather write about calling ambulance for help. Calling ambulance is not a negative action. However, I personally always advise candidates not to write calling ambulance as the first option and write about it only when there is no other option available. Available. The reason why I always advise candidates to keep calling ambulance as the last option is because if you call ambulance, it will take its own sweet time to reach and after that it will again take a lot of time to reach hospital. Whereas when a person is injured severely in a major helicopter crash, every second is vital to saving life. If the candidate will rush the injured victims to hospital using the unit's vehicles, then it will save at least half the time compared to what an ambulance will take. However, candidates are just so used to writing ambulance the moment they see an accident that these basic realities don't strike them at all. Lastly, writing about doing something regarding the helicopter wreckage will add little more quality to the answer, but most of the candidates fail to do this also. I'm sure now you understand how candidates fail to answer even the most basic situations correctly. Tomorrow we'll analyze few responses submitted by candidates to this particular situation and that will help you learn a lot, so don't miss that video. I'm sure you're finding out our video is useful. Please share it with all your friends who are preparing for SSB and know all the SSB related groups you are a part of and please don't forget to like the video. Tomorrow I'll be back with yet another video which will help you learn a lot. Till then please take very good care of yourself and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.